everyone! It is Friday, December 2nd, 2016. As you can see, I got my Giswiz shirt in the mail recently, so that's really exciting. Um, I was really waiting on that since, you know, Giswiz was a while ago, but I know they have to produce things. So, I love this. It's very cool. And all, like, shiny. I don't know how well that shows over screen, but it's all, like, gold and shiny and it's fun. <laughs> I'm easily entertained. Um, I hope all of my fellow Americans had a good Thanksgiving. I got to go home for a few days, which was really nice to, I hadn't been home in like a month, so it was really nice to hang out with my parents and have some like home cooked food. Um, I still had a lot of work to do, but at least I was in my natural environment, um, so I did enjoy that. Uh, the other thing that having it be December means, the fact that it's December also means, I can't English today apparently. Um, that NaNoWriMo is officially over, um, so, you know, that's a very bittersweet thing. Um, I did really well. Um, if you participated, let me know how you did. I, you know, I would really like to hear. Um, I did really well. I'm really happy. Um, I set my personal goal for 3,000 words, which sounds small, but it, it, it's what was manageable for me, um, and I ended up really surpassing that and getting close to 4,000 words, so I'm very happy about that and proud. Um, it was definitely a really tough month for me, just school and personal stuff and clubs and things. Um, just a lot of things going on, but <laughs> as I always feel after participating in NaNoWriMo, I'm really happy that I signed up and, you know, I wish I could have been a little bit more involved in the communal aspect, but there's always next year, and I'm glad that I made this commitment and set aside this time because I really would not have gotten, probably, I probably wouldn't have gotten any writing done, but if I had, it would have been a lot less writing. So I'm really happy that I signed up for this. Um, and, you know, have Camp NaNoWriMo in the summer, so I can look forward to that. So what's next for me, basically, as far as writing goes? I'm going to take a break for the next couple of weeks because I have finals coming up and classes are ending and I have presentations and projects and papers and tests and I need to be able to focus, you know, fully on that and finish out the school semester strong. So I'm going to put the writing on the back burner for right now. Um, it's really hard coming out of a month full of writing to stop, but I, I think it's a poor choice to keep focusing on that while I have much more important things to be doing, unfortunately. Um, however, when I am on winter break, I will plan to do a lot of writing. Um, the last couple of years I've set a January writing challenge for myself, um, so I think I might pick that up again. It's been really fun and gotten me to, I've written like 10,000 words, 12,000 words um, each year. So I will probably do that again as sort of a, you know, solo NaNoWriMo type of thing. Just to keep it up and finish off strong and start the new year doing something fun. And yeah, um, good luck to everyone who is also finishing classes. Um, I know all of the colleges all over the place have such varying schedules. So if you've already ended, congrats. If you're ending soon like I am, you know, good luck on finals. If you've got a while to go, just keep going, <laughs> and good luck when you get to finals. Um, and that's it, really. So, lots of things going on. Obviously I scripted this video a little bit less, but I hope that's still cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you all in two weeks. Bye guys.